Uh, what was the second one? Wow, okay. Man, I already forgot the second one. Poor bomb seeker here. He's gonna go. He's gonna go right down to this dragon pulse, or not? Okay, that works. That works. That works. We're good. So, but bomb seeker here can't do much. Oh, wow, that bird came out of nowhere. Bomb seeker here can't do much damage to this Aquarius. So maybe we can get off one more scald and maybe get the burn. I don't know. Please get the burn. Maybe? Yeah, we actually do get the burn. But we only have Bell Buoyant left, which is not gonna go go very well. So the burn actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. Bell Buoyant, try your best. That's all I can say. Maybe take it out with the Night Days. Okay, Night Days actually finishes off Aquarius. So I mean but Boyant's level 61 now, so that means about Boyant and Fraligator are both level 61. We got a Kingdra. Night days it up. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. I, I wish the stand Sandstorm would end though. That would be great. Night days. Maybe we can actually pull this off. You know what? I actually have what? Why am I do why am I doing it this way? Like um we do have revives. So, let's bring back Tyranitar. Balboyan's going to go down. Unfortunately, we're going to throw out Tyranitar. Kingdra's going to go down. That's awesome. That works. It's great. Ty Tyranitar's level 50. Wait, that was her last? Yo, no way. No way I pulled that off so close to... This is impossible. I can't believe I did that. Hello Pokemon trainers, my name is AJ aka Arcticmon and welcome back to the channel. In the last episode of Pokemon Electrum, we made it to Blackthorn City. Uh, I think we talked to Claire at some point and she said something, I don't remember. But I do know that the kid standing in front of the gym said she is in the Dragon's Den. I sat here for 20 minutes already recording this and just to realize that the game wasn't even recording. So yeah, I put 20 minutes in the, into this game. I had to restart. We got, good thing I hadn't saved yet. So we were able to reset where I was before I started recording and where I ended off in the last episode. So yeah, that was fun. So yeah, we're gonna jump right back into this. In this episode, we are gonna be going back to Lake Rage after we defeat Claire. Cause as you can see, Chuck down here actually tells us that we need to deal with the Team Rocket base at Lake Rage before we go to Cedar City. I don't remember if we ever went to Lake Rage, but I don't, I can't remember. So yeah, we're going to head off to the Dragon's Den. I know exactly what I need to do now. So yeah, I'm also gonna try to catch the Pokemon that I caught when uh, I recorded this for 20 minutes, just to realize it wasn't recording. So yeah, but yeah, we gotta talk to Claire and Usain down here. I don't remember Usain's voice, so I kind of just gave him a new one. They got a Suicune. Asami saw through the plan. She showed up herself and ordered me not to interfere. I couldn't go against her order. It would have hurt our plan more than it helped him. So, you're one of the Elite Four then. Certainly explains things. Someone with your rank against, standing against Asami? That would set off alarm bells for anyone, everyone that still thinks she's a good person. You'd also have your status as a trainer revoked forever. Even under those circumstances, it wouldn't be possible to restore that. That's why we need to, we need your help. Kanto will be turned to glass if we don't stop Asami. I know this situation. Rice gave me an earful. If you're strong enough to beat me, I'll help you out and do whatever it is you all want me to do. Otherwise, I'm, con I'm content with letting things go. Nothing is worth losing a status like mine. I've worked for years to become this strong. Come to the gym when you're ready. Yeah, so before I do that, I want to collect everything I caught or I collected and catch everything I did catch, uh, including this big boy right here. Uh, I did catch him uh, after 
two times of trying to catch him, but Hitmon, Hitmonchan, Ice Punch it up. Okay, we got him down to a good, a decent amount, but at least now I still have all my uh, Ultra Balls and all my Pokeballs and all that. I wasted a lot of these in the 20 minutes that I spent trying to catch Pokemon here. But now, apparently Charizard wants to be caught with one, one Pokeball. But yeah, we caught him. It took me a lot of Pokeballs to catch him originally. We're not giving him a nickname. We're throwing him into the box right off the bat. Now I gotta find my favorite here somewhere. But well, we got Dragon Tail again. Where is my favorite Pokemon? Nope, it's just that's another Charizard. Um, you can go away for now. I want to find my favorite. Come on, buddy, where you at? Where you at? We got we got Aquarius here, which I caught as well. Um, Ice Punch. Come on, Hitmonchan, tank that. That did nothing. Uh, Thunder Punch. Crunch is gonna take out Hitmonchan. Oh no, maybe not. Hitmonchan is uh kind of a beast. So, we got the paralysis. We're going to swap Hitmonchan out for Noctowl. So, Hitmonchan doesn't go down. But, uh, we're gonna hit an extra sensory. That. Okay, we're gonna hit one more extra sensory, which should put it in the red. Or, or kill it. It killed it. Yeah, <laughs> well. My bad. Oh well. It's not like I really want to catch him again. Not a big fan of the look. I mean, yeah, it would help to uh, get it in the Pokedex. But I'm looking for one Pokemon. And one Pokemon in particular. But we got Tyranitar back for another round of fun in the sand. <laughs> so, of course he goes for Thrash. And that's going to hurt Bell Buoyant. So, we're going to hit a Psybeam. Which doesn't affect Tyranitar, which uh, I should have, I should have figured. Tyranitar confuses itself with fatigue. So um, we're going to hit a Night Ace, which misses. What? At least it hit itself in its confusion. Can we please hit off a Night Ace? Thank you. And that actually doesn't do nearly as much as I thought. But we do lower his accuracy. Hit yourself, please. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna hit... We're gonna try to hit off one more Night Days. Try not to kill it. Okay, we don't. And it's gonna hit itself. Oh no, it hits me! As it goes for payback, which is cool. Cool. I'm sorry, Bellboy. I'll heal you up once we get back to Blackthorn. I just want to catch Tyranitar because I wasn't able to catch him originally because I kind of kind of took him out. So we're going to throw an Ultra Ball at it. We got it down in the red so we should be able to catch this thing. We do. We get Tyranitar. Which is good because I originally wanted to catch him but he wouldn't let me catch him. So we got Tyranitar now. Now I need to find my Pokemon. Where are you at? I know you're here. Another Aquarius. I'm gonna try to catch you anyway. Mine as well. Sky Uppercut. You can go for agility. Go right ahead. I don't care. Don't take it out. Okay, it doesn't take it out. Oh man, you should have gone for agility again. Come on. I could have hit off another Sky Uppercut. Another Next Pokemon, Gengar, you're up. Because I know Gengar won't take this thing out. We're gonna hit a Shadow Punch. Or Gengar's gonna go down. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Whew. I thought Gengar was gonna go down with a cr with a one crunch. But we're gonna throw a Ultra Ball at it. Not really wasting any Ultra Balls right now. This is good. This is good. Oh, man. As I say something, it has to give me the trust issues. I'm sorry, Gengar. We are losing everybody right now. I am so sorry, guys. I am so so sorry. Fraligator, you're up. I know you can tank a few crunches. We're gonna throw another Ultra Ball. Can you just stay in the ball, please? It'd be great. Or not. That works, too. Um, thank you for the slash. Maybe he wants the Great Ball like the last one wanted. The last one I caught, I threw like three Ultra Balls at it. It didn't want to stay in, so I threw a Great Ball. 
and it stayed in. But this one apparently doesn't want the Great Ball. So maybe, maybe a Pokeball? Who knows? Maybe we, some Pokemon have weird taste in Pokeballs, you know? Sometimes they prefer the original. Sometimes they prefer the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, the Premier Ball, you know? The one, the Pokeballs that I miss the most are the Quick Balls. They were so fun to use because you would throw one right away. You would usually catch the Pokemon right off the bat. So, but yeah, um, Quick Ball is gonna come into Alola if I remember correctly. So yeah, of course they won't be here. Can you just stay in the ball? Thanks. We got a we got a Quarries. I almost said a Clarys. Man. So yeah, we got the nesty Pokemon. Up until recently, only one photograph existed, and thus this creature was thought to be a mess. Kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. But yeah, I'm, st I'm still searching for my Pokemon. Where are you? Please, come to me. No, not you. I already caught you. You're not what I want. Go away. I do love Charizard, though. Where is my Pokemon? Nope, another Aquarius. No, dude. Seriously, I know, I know what's here. I had one, I, I caught one a little bit ago. Come on. Of course, maybe now it's not gonna give me it. Nope, another Charizard. Charizard, can you call your friend and bring him to me? Like, I know he's here. Come on. Nope, another Charizard. Can you like leave me alone, Charizard? I don't want you. I already got one. Charizard, leave me alone. You're not what I want. Where is my Pokemon? Charizard, I swear to God, if you don't leave me alone. Come on, buddy, where you at? Charizard, I, I feel like this is the same Charizard. That's following me over and over again. Come if I come down here and it's the same Charizard. Nope, it's Tyranitar. Okay. I might throw Tyranitar on my team. <clears throat> in place of Noctowl, but there is one Pokemon that I want to replace Noctowl with, which I had a little bit ago. Come on, buddy. Where you at? I know it's here. Maybe I'll come back a little later. I but I really want. I need him to take on Claire. There he is. Dragon Knight has made an appearance. I've been looking for you. But yeah, I definitely need Dragon Knight to help me take on Claire because Claire is a dragon type leader. <clears throat> And we all know what dragon types are weak to. They're weak to their own kind, along with ice types. So, yeah, I'm trying to... Can I please not get the burn? Don't get the burn. Oh, we got the burn. No. We're not going to... Dude, if I can't catch Dragonite with, <clears throat> with this one Pokeball... I mean, I don't think the burn will take it out next turn if we don't catch it. But if... Dragonite, no! I'm never gonna be able to find another one. Oh, wait, the burn doesn't take it out. Maybe, maybe now, maybe now. Come on, come on, stay in the ball, please. Bomb Seeker has lived on one. You're probably on one. Dragon, no, dude, seriously? Dragonite, no, man. Why did you have to do that? Why did I have to get the burn, though? Seriously. Can we not? We're not going to be able to find another Dragonite, are we? Dude, that sucks. Come on. Dragonite, make another appearance. Tyranitar, leave me alone. You and Charizard both. Seriously. Like, no joke. Tyranitar and Charizard literally love me. See? Tyranitar just does not want to leave me alone. Can you not... I mean, Tyranitar is also a dragon type, if I remember correctly. So, I may come back a little later to try to catch Dragonite. This sucks, man. Unless we can get him right now. Nope, it's another Tyranitar. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm coming back later. 
Dude, this sucks. I really wanted to catch Dragonite. Maybe? Hey, hey, perfect. Perfect timing, Dragonite. Welcome back. Extra sensory. Okay, we can head off at least three extra sensories. That should do it. He's gonna miss the dra she's gonna miss the dragon rush. So one more extra sensory should do it. Maybe. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're in the red. We're in the red. We're good. We're gonna throw. I'm gonna waste the last three ultra balls unless this Dragonite stays in the ball. Maybe. Oh, we actually got her. Sweet. First Ultra Ball. All right. So, yeah. This is one of my all-time favorite Dragon type Pokemon. I love Dragonite. So, I'm actually going to head back to a Blackthorn now. And we're going to swap off a few of the team members to take on Claire. Because we're going to be bringing Dragonite and Tyranitar to the team for this one. So, yeah. We'll, uh, I'm going to heal up, grab some new Pokemon. All right, we're all healed up. We got two new uh, <clears throat> two new team members. These there are many dragon type gym leaders in the world that I know of. Draenon of the Unova and Raihan and the Galar are the only two I know of, other than Claire. <clears throat> but yeah, Claire is also a dragon type gym leader. But yeah, we got Hitmonchan. We we kept Bomb Seeker. We we replaced Noctowl with Dragonite. And we said goodbye to Gengar as well for Tyranitar. We've got Bellboyant and Fraligator as well. Those two have been on the team for as long as I can remember. <clears throat> we're going to give Tyranitar... No, actually. Yeah, we're going to give Tyranitar the Lucky Egg. And we're going to give Dragonite the Dragon Fang. Which ups uh, Dragon-type moves. So... But the the original guy who uses us Hey Champ is no longer in the gym right now. At least not in Claire's gym. He is literally in the Pokemon Center. He does say that Claire has dragon types that are weak to dragon and ice, which if you're a dragon type uh, trainer, you already know that. But we got Claire here. I'm surprised he showed up. Not even my own gym trainer stick around here very long. I can hold my own against even the Elite Four. You will prove no challenge to me. Bring it on, Claire. We're starting off with Hitmonchan, which is not going to last very long against Charizard here. But yeah, she's going to be in the level 60s. So Hitmonchan's going to go down right now to that flamethrower. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Fraligator, you're up. I know you can take on this Charizard. We're going to hit the dive. Charizard's faster? I mean, of course Charizard's faster. I hope this dive hits it, because I know Charizard is also a flying type. Maybe. Okay, we actually do hit it. Sweet. One. Oh, man, what? We don't get the one shot. We're going to finish it off with the cut. Valigator can tank these uh, flamethrowers. Definitely. That second flamethrower did a little bit more damage than I wanted it to, but Valigator is now level 61. And we got a dragon there. All right. All right. We're going to hit the Ice Fang, which is a very super effective move. And oh, no, it's no Thunderbolt. Oh, my. OK, come on. Take it out. Take it out. Take out the dragon there with the second. Yes. OK, we take it out with the second Ice Fang. So we couldn't use uh, Thunderbolt to it again against us. That... <laughs> I didn't realize. What are you? Are you the are you the next evolution over above Kingdra? Because I know this game added a few um extra uh yeah extra evolutions to certain Pokemon. So I feel like this one is the next evolution up from Kingdra. W Tyranitar doesn't know any Dragon type moves. I wonder if Tyranitar can learn Dragon Tail and Dragon Pulse. <coughs> Because I know we got Dragon Tail. Pretty sure we've got a few other Dragon type moves. But I can't remember. I know we got Dragon Tail because we picked it up in the Dragon's Den. But Tyranitar is really holding his own against uh, Maelstron here. Maelstron? I don't know how you pronounce this thing. I think it's just Maelstron. But uh, Tyranitar is level 49. 
and bringing out Aquarius here. Okay. All right. That's going to take Tyranitar out. Yeah, saw that one coming. All right. Um, good thing the Sandstorm's still up. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to handle this Sandstorm. We're going to hit the Dragon Tail on Aquarius here. Oh, ow, that did... How did we miss? How was Dragonite missing? Dude, there's... N okay, so... We're gonna lose to Claire right here, which is fine. We do know a few of her Pokemon already. Starts off with Charizard. Goes into... Uh, what was the second one? Wow, okay. Man. I already forgot the second one. Poor bomb seeker here. He's gonna go. He's gonna go right down to this dragon pulse. Or not? Okay, that works. That works. That works. We're good. So, but bomb seeker here can't do much. Oh, wow, that bird came out of nowhere. Bomb seeker here can't do much damage to this Aquarius. So maybe we can get off one more scald and maybe get the burn. I don't know. Please get the burn. Maybe? Yeah, we actually do get the burn. But we only have Bell Buoyant left, which is not gonna go go very well. So the burn actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. Bell Buoyant, try your best. That's all I can say. Maybe take it out with the Night Days. Okay, Night Days actually finishes off Aquarius. So I mean Bellboyant's level 61 now, so that means Bellboyant and Fraligator are both level 61. We got a Kingdra. Night days it up. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. I, I wish the stand Sandstorm would end, though. That would be great. Night days. Maybe we can actually pull this off. You know what? I actually have... What? Why am I do why am I doing it this way? Like, um we do have revives. So let's bring back Tyranitar. Balboyan's gonna go down. Unfortunately. We're gonna throw out Tyranitar. Kingdra's gonna go down. That's awesome. That works. It's great. Ty Tyranitar's level 50. Wait, that was her last? Yo, no way. No way I pulled that off so close to... This is impossible. I can't believe I did that. Jeez, kid. I was only putting on what I told you I wouldn't help out if you lost. And that thing about me not caring? It was just an act, okay? Ugh, fine. Keep staring at me with those judgmental eyes. I don't care. Here, just take this rising badge already before I change my mind. Dude, I can't speak. I'm mute, remember? Oh wait, she doesn't know that. Take this TM too. You'll be glad you have, you have it when you go storming into Cedar City. We got Dragon Claw, which I'm gonna give it to Tyranitar and Dragonite if Tyranitar can learn it. All right, I'll help out with this plan. You get up to Lake Rage and tear that base apart. Okay, so we had to take out Claire before we could go to Lake Rage. This is DJ Mary with an emergency broadcast live from Goldenrod City. We just received a massive amount of evidence against Prime Minister Asami, fitting her as a major fi figure within the Team Rocket organization in Johto. Video evidence has revealed Asami meeting with high-ranking members of Team Rocket at a secret base outside of Kisato City, Silver Rock Isle. The audio reels reveal that Asami intends to harass the com harness the combined power of Ho-Ho and Lugia, then unleash it as a weapon upon the Kanto region. Currently, the gym leaders of Johto, along with other strong trainers, are taking action to prevent this plan from coming to fruition. In response, Asami has sealed off all gates into Cedar, Cedar City and enacted martial law, fueling chaos in the capital. Civilians are advised to remain indoors and out of the city streets until further notice. So, we can't go to Cedar City. Hey, it's Chris and, uh, Silver. As soon as Claire called and told Price you'd beaten her, we put a we put the plan into action. So basically, Cedar City is a hornet's nest right now. Asami fled to the palace as as we expected, and it looks like Archer and Ariana went with her. That means 
Petro is the only one guarding Lake Rage. You should be able to handle him by yourself. We'll take on Claire and then go to go with her to Cedar City. Once you clear the base up at Lake Rage, we'll meet up with you at Cedar City somewhere. We've got advantage for now. Let's make sure we use it before it's gone. Yeah, that's right. We got this. We got it. I'm going to Lake Rage now. We're going to heal up real quick. All right, we're all healed up. And before I do anything else, we're going to go to our TM in HM's case. And we're going to... Let's see. Where is it? Where is Dragon Claw? There it is. TM02. We're going to give that to Tyranitar here. Along with... Uh, Dragonite. Dragonite is also going to learn it. We got rid of Thrash on Tyranitar and we got Dragon Claw. So we're also going to give Dragon Claw to Dragonite here, which will get rid of Agility since Dragonite is already a fast Pokemon. So we really don't need um, Agility. Uh, let's see what else we can give. Maybe let's see if anyone can learn Frost Breath. Nope. Nobody can learn Frost Breath. So I think we're good for now. We're going to head over to a Lake Rage. Do I have Fly though? That would help so much. I do not. I do not have Fly. I don't even know where I get that. Do I get it here in Blackthorn? Have you faced Claire? She fights fair, but man, she's powerful. Yeah, I already beat her. We faced Claire for the first time five years ago. We ended up moving here just to have a chance to defeat her. That still hasn't happened. Five years, man. I beat her my first time here. Um, who are you looking for at Johto? Well, there's Will. I don't really know the names of the other one, other three, but one of them is a movie star or something. Okay, cool. So one of them's name is Will. Can we get, like, Fly from somebody? We friend... We famed as the base of dragon type trainers because Claire's reputation in Johto. Yeah, yeah. Don't care. I just want to. I just want to get fly, man. I don't think we can get it here, though. I don't even know if we can get it. We should be able to. Are you collecting postcards? Oh, thanks. I completely forgot about postcards. Cool. There are eight until obviously. But I completely forgot about those. Hey, my granddaughter puts on a fierce face. But she is the kindest heart around. She has a well-deserved reputation for being the strongest gym leader in Johto. Perhaps even the world. Okay, so you're, uh, you're Claire's grandmother. Cool. Cool, cool. So, we don't get fly here. Which sucks. So now I have to run all the way back to... Uh, yeah. The icy path. And then over to... Ah, dang it. I should throw down a max repel... Hey, it's Hollywag. Man, you're level 20? Man. I would feel so bad if I kind of hit that polywag, though. We're actually going to throw down a max repel. I've only got three left now, which is fine. I can pick up more. But what? What level are you, Mag Cargo? 47. All right, so what we need to do here is we need to take Freligator or Bellboyant, one of the two, and put them up front. Because they're both level 61, which means we should be able to keep Pokemon away for now. Wait, I don't have to go through the Icy Path. Because I can go right through here. Thanks to that guy breaking that boulder. I completely forgot he broke the boulder in the last episode. So, where is Lake Rage? That's above Mahogany Town, right? So we need to go, we need to go this way where the lady wouldn't let us go. I reckon you show, yeah, well, we already talked to you. You broke my game the last time I, uh, I ran past you. Or tried to anyway. So we're going to use another repel. I mean, I know, I feel like I can catch some great Pokemon here, but I kind of just want to take on, whoa, we got ice beam. Woo, that's up here. Yo, no way. You, let me see that. Let me see that. Can I show? Can I make um, Freligator learn that? That would be great. Freligator, can you learn Ice Beam? I can replace it with Ice Fang. Yo, you can. What? Yeah, because we're replacing Ice Fang with Ice Beam. Yo, that is great. That is fantastic. 
Hell yeah. Fralligator can't learn uh, Blizzard, by the way. So that's one ice type move he can't learn. Um, I thought I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to click on the rock to see if there was like any hiding or anything hiding in there. So, so I guess we got to go into this little, uh, this little cove right here. This little hut. So here we go. What? Apparently not. All right. Okay. So we're not going in there. We're going to just surf along the, the water here then. Where is there? Yo, yo, red Gyarados. Come here. Come here. Shiny Gyarados. Yeah, yeah. I want you. Okay. Um, I hope I don't take this thing out in one shot. We're going to crunch. Please don't one shot it. Okay. Okay. We're going to get off a few crunches. That's going to, that's going to be great. Crunch. We should be able to get off at least one more. Please don't kill it. One more crunch should do it. You already use rain dance, dude. Come on. Okay. We're good. We're not going to use any more, any more move. I don't care if this thing takes me out. I'm going to catch this thing. Stay in the ball there, Shiny Gyarados. Or not. That works too. You can uh, just hop out without even letting the ball shake. That, that's great. We're going to use our last Ultra Ball. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to throw Great Balls at it. Didn't work. Cool. So, we're just going to throw Great Balls at it. Rain stop. Why can't Sandstorm be like that? Like, it lasts for a few, uh, a few turns, and then it just disappears. Dude, Gyarados, I swear, please just stay in the ball. I want you. I love Red Gyarados. One of my favorites. I actually have one on uh, Pokemon Go. It took me forever to get because I'm trying to find a shiny magic carp is fun. So, yeah, we got the Gyarados. One of my favorite shinies. I don't want to give it a nickname. Oh man, I completely forgot Red Gyarados was in Lake Rage. I don't know how I forgot that though. Oh, I'm so glad I came up here. All right, we're going to take on... You know what? Well, since our repel wore off, we're going to throw Dragonite up first. Try to get Dragonite some levels along with Hitmonchan. Come on, kid. Just go home. No, I can't. I've come too far for that. Come too far, caught too many Pokemon just to give up now. There's no way I'm giving up. Dragon Claw, baby. That did nothing to Scizor here. That X Scissor also did nothing to Dragonite. Aqua Tail should do damage. Not much. Scizor, can you just Dragon Rush? We missed the Dragon Rush. I don't know what what's up with Dragon Rush and what is it, Dragon Tail, but they miss a lot. How did Scizor not go down? Dragonite, no! Man. All right, Tyrantar, you're up. I'm also going to use a revive on Dragonite because Dragonite is super close to leveling up. Tyranitar can handle an x Scissor. I know that for sure. Dragonite's HP was restored. Oh, it goes for Iron Defense, which is even better. How did Scizor not get hit by, or hurt by uh, the Sandstorm? Fine, because we take it out with the... What did we use? Dark Pulse? You only had Scizor? Bro, come on. Alright, well, since we took him out, we might as well use a Super Potion on Dragonite here, along with a regular Potion to get Dragonite up to almost full. We use a few Potions on Fraligator here. That puts us down to six. What do we got up here? We got a Cal... We got five calciums. What do calciums do again? Uh, they would be here. Let's see what calcium does. Special attack. I should check out... I don't know if Dragonite's a special attacker. Let's see. Special attack. One, okay, so attack and special attack are pretty much the same. Speed is 90, which... Whew, pretty fast, though. 
Okay, so we're gonna use a few calciums on Dragonite, Tyranitar, and one... Wait, what? Wait. Why wouldn't calciums work on Fraligator? Summary. Special attack. Okay, so I don't think Fraligator is a special attacker. We were able to use like a bunch of them on uh, Dragonite though. Nothing up here? All right. So I saw a Team Rocket Grunt over here watching TV. What you doing over here in the corner? Hey, I'm trying to watch Crash Landing on you. Well, sucks to be you there, buddy. You got one Pokemon, you got a Weezing. All right, Dragonite, you can take this thing. Put in Dragon Claw this baby up. Claw him up. Does a Sludge Bomb... Okay, a Sludge Bomb does a little bit more damage than I was hoping for on Dragonite, but it's fine. Dragonite can... Never mind, he got the poison. What? All right, we're going to finish this thing off with the Aqua Tail. Never mind, we missed. Well, that's awesome. Great. I don't know how we missed the Aqua Tail, but finish it off with the Dragon Claw there, Tyranitar. Uh, that sucks. Hit Munchan's level 43. This guy said, geez. Um, let's, I guess, use another revive on poor Dragonite. Poor Dragonite, though. He is getting... He's getting just taken out constantly. Full restore, even though I didn't really need to. Fine. I see Entei and... Was that Entei and Raikou up there? Yeah, Entei and Raikou right there. Suicune's probably up there as well. What do we got over down... What do we got down this way? Uh, we got... What is this? <clears throat> Home Claws. This late in the game? Are you serious? Don't need that. That's for sure. Uh, let's go up here. We're really doing this here now? Yes. Yes, we are. We're doing it right here. <clears throat> Gotta go back. Alright. Aqua Tail. <clears throat> Pretty sure Dragonite can also learn uh, uh like Thunder type moves, so we might I might swap out Aqua Tail for <clears throat> an Electric type move. As much as I like Aqua Tail, eh, I don't know. I think uh, an Electric type move on Dragonite would be so much better. Finish it off with the Dragon Claw. Dragonite should get a level up here. No, not even close. Tyranitar did though. Level 51 for our Tyranitar over there. Do we have any electric type moves though? Mmm, probably not. It doesn't look like it. We got Flash Cannon though. So, no electric type moves. That sucks. Team Rocket's Petrol created many Pokemon like Rin Ring and Aqua, but their genetic structure is very unstable. They only live about a year at most before their matter starts to glitch and de dematerialize into nothing. Petro wanted to have more time so he could prevent it, but Asami told him no. Oh, poor Petro. So, Rin Ring only lasts about a year? Poor Balboyan, though. We got him a choke. Alright, Dragonite. You got this. Dragon Claw. Wow, that actually did a lot more damage than, uh... I wanted it to, or I, I figured it would. I really wanted that, which is good. I, I, I mean, Pimonchan is level 44. We got a Tentacruel. I'm going to hit, swap out the Hitmonchan, and hopefully Hitmonchan doesn't go down with one shot from this poison jab. No, okay. Uh, Thunder Punch. Oh, God dang it. Not the confusion. Let me guess, I hit myself? No, actually we don't. We get off the Thunder Punch. How about that? And now let's swap out again, Tyranitar. Probably not the best. The British sure Tyranitar is part of ground type. But it goes for Poison Jab anyway, so I mean... That works. As long as it doesn't go for Aqua Ring. We're going to finish it off with the Crunch. Can you stop Poison Jabbing me? That'd be great. 
We finish off Tendercruel with the Crunch. Hitmonchan does not get a level up, but Bombseeker does, but Boyne as well. So, it's, there's something right there. Man, I really need to stock up on uh, Hyper Potions and stuff. Hitmonchan, you're good now. We're going to put Hitmonchan up first. Try to get Hitmonchan some levels. I mean, everybody has pretty much every, pretty much everybody has the lucky egg. So I see Moltres over there. I can't have you bothering the honor guard. I'll never hear the end of it. How did you make it this far against us? Uh, you guys are jokes. That's why. I mean, come on. Each of you usually only have like one or two Pokemon. Got a Bellboy and a Bomb Seeker. Meet my own Bomb Seeker. Okay, so we're gonna go for Sky Uppercut on. Actually, we're going to go for Thunder Punch on Bomb Seeker. And we're going to go for Scald on Balboyant. As it goes for Sucker Punch, that's, that's great. So, can we get the burn? It'd be great. No, we cannot. But we do a lot of damage to both of them. Poor Hitmonchan. He's just getting blasted over here. Flame Charge on Balboyant. Take out the Balboyant. And Hitmonchan should move before Bomb Seeker. Yes. All right. So we get to take out Bomb Seeker as well. Hitmonchan should get a level up. Or not. Fraligator does at level 62. We got a we got a flux or a, is it a flux? Flux and a Gengar. So our Gligar. We're gonna take out the Gligar with a Thunder Punch, and we're gonna Flame Charge the Flux because it is a uh, bug type. So, I mean, go for Bomb Seeker. I don't care what you do. Oh, no, not Hitmonchan. Did you hit both? Tyrantar, you're up. I've... Poor Bomb Seeker here, gonna get hurt by the Sandstorm. But we're gonna finish off the. Actually, we're gonna hit the Gligar with the Dragon Claw. We'll finish off the Flux with the Flame Charge. So, there goes Flux. He's out of here. Get out. We should be able to take out this Gligar, though. Dragonite's level 50. Sweet. We're not going to be able to hit the Gligar because it goes. It uses U-turn. We got a we got a Cloister out here. Sorry, Bomb Seeker. Luckily, Cloister's hurt by it, too. So, I mean... We got a Jinx. Really? We're going to hit the Dark Pulse on Cloister. And we're going to hit the Flame Charge on Jinx. Jinx is an ice type. So Jinx is out of here. One shot with a flame charge. As long as Cloyster doesn't go for Bomb Seeker, we should be good. Tyranitar is level 52. We take out the Cloyster with the Dark Pulse. Great. Anyone else getting a level up? No. Cool. So all we have left is the Gligar. So Dragon Claw and Flame Charge. Flame Charge might take it. No, I was wrong. We didn't. Dude, using u turns not going to help you now. At all. Alright, so. I'm having. The Gligar doesn't get hurt by the Sandstorm. So. I'm going to finish it off with the Skull. Why didn't we just go for Skull to begin with? That was a super effective move right there. Alright. So, you guys are jokes. All right, um, are there any Pokeballs before I go through this door? No? All right. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna take them on. Honor Guard, right? Actually, you know what? I'm going to end this episode of Pokemon Electrum here. I am all out of time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we will finish off the base, and then we will head to Cedar City, and then the Elite Four. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon video.